Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiara Fowler. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel. It is that fat red button down below that says subscribe. So you won't miss out on none of my videos, boo, okay? But today, God has given me another word for you guys. And I'm super excited. I'm always excited for what God is doing. I'm always excited when God speaks. He is doing great 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 things in this season i'm trusting in god i'm so thankful uh what god is doing because he has brought me through so much last night i was in a spirit of like thanksgiving because god has done so much over my life he has healed me from so many things like from so much hurt so much pain from my past he has literally delivered me from all of that and I'm just super excited because God is always there. God is always there in the midst of everything. This comes from somebody wanting to commit suicide. I was so close to giving up on life because I was just so discouraged. I didn't think I had a purpose and God was there. God brought me out of that. So I can like, all I can say right now is thank you, Jesus, because if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him, I would not be here on this platform, this YouTube platform. Uh, today but God has like healed me from like a lot of that pain and grief and insecurities God has literally delivered me from that so if you are going through something right now like I want you to know hold on because God God is there God will bring you out of what seems impossible God will bring you out so stay encouraged I just wanted you to know like God will bring you out of the impossible for what seems impossible let me get that clear from what seems impossible God will bring you out but here is the word from God that God has gave me to give you guys so let's start off with scripture this is Philippians uh, chapter 3 verse 13 through 14 but one thing i do forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead i press towards the goal to win the prize for which god has called me heavenward in christ jesus yes so in this season god is doing a lot of new things y'all it is your new season approaching. Your new season is here. God has gave it to us. It has been released. But here's the thing. A lot of us not going to get that new thing because we are pressing for what's behind us. We are pressing for our comfort zone. We need to press forward towards our new thing. So in order to move forward towards our new thing, we as people need to get out of our comfort zone because that will allow us to not reach that new thing. We cannot worry about how it's going to happen. We just got to worry that God is going to provide all our needs. God is going to make our way straight. God is going to make things work out. That's what we should be worrying about. We tend to make our past our revelation. No, no. In the name of Jesus, we have been delivered from our past. Our past will not tow us back. We will reach our new thing. In Jesus Christ's name, receive it, y'all. That's not the way to live. That's not how God intended for your life to be, to be stuck to be stuck in the same situations you've been in for years for years okay i did have more stuff written down here but god is leading me to tell you my story again apartment story so when i moved out of from where i was living in and god wanted me to move out into my own apartment okay let me tell you i was so afraid i was so afraid because nothing added up like my finances i got two kids and i was just so afraid but i knew in my heart god kept telling me do it do it i'm like okay god i don't know i don't know i don't know and then then one day i just said okay i feel it for apartments i finna do it i finna do it and let me tell you it's been almost a year and a half god has provided for me and my boys ever since this time two years ago i was doubtful i did not believe like that god would provide but when i tell you life is a faith walk <laughs> that situation i took a faith leap and like i thank god for the strength because i almost didn't do it 
because I was afraid. I was afraid because I made my path, my revelation. But God said, no, I want more for you. And when you start being obedient and trusting God, and I say God will work things out, he will. We cannot lean on our own understanding. We cannot do that because it's going to allow us to miss out on our new things. I don't want you to miss out on your new thing because God is shifting the seasons. God is moving right now. I don't want you to miss out. Don't get comfortable with what you are dealing with or what you are doing. That's not because God wants more for you. Don't get comfortable with that. Don't get comfortable. Don't dwell on your past. Dwell on the word of God and trust that God will make your way straight. If God's telling you to move, you better move because you can miss out on your new thing. You can miss out. And I don't want that for y'all. I don't I don't want you to miss out on your new thing. Trust in the Lord. He already got your life predestined, pre-written out. Because moving forward, it takes God's strength. Ask God for strength in this season because I want the best for you. God wants the best for you. So in order to hop on your new thing that God desires for you, we have to have faith. We have to be obedient to what God is saying because God is, is clearly speaking in this season. We have to be obedient and listen to the voice of God. And if you don't listen, you are going to miss out. Cause God is going to keep, cause, cause God is so patient and God keeps reminding us. He keeps telling you, do this, do this, do A, B, and C, do A, B, and C. If we don't do it, do A, B, and C. And he will keep doing it until time will come. Like, okay, this person got to learn their own now because they ain't listening to me. So make sure you are trusting in God's word, God's voice that he is speaking in your life and stop living in the safe zone. You can't move in the safe zone. You can't move spiritually. Speak. I am more than a conqueror. You are a conqueror, brothers and sisters. Get out of the safe zone. Stop being comfortable with where you are at because God wants more for you. Don't miss out on your new thing because you are in the safe zone. I rebuke the safe zone right now in Jesus Christ's name. You will not live your life in the safe zone because God wants more for you. God wants more for you in Jesus Christ's name. You will take hold of your new thing because God is shifting your life. God is shifting it in the name of Jesus. God is making your way straight. God is giving you clarity in in Jesus name so take hold of your new thing you will not be in the safe zone in the comfort zone a b and c you will not be in that in Jesus Christ's name because God has predestined your life your life is written out in the books of heaven and you will live out that life in Jesus Christ's name you be encouraged do not be in that safe zone trust in the father God whatever God is telling you to do obey it in the name of Jesus Jesus. I know it seems scary. I know it seems like you don't have nothing prepared, but God already have it prepared in Jesus Christ's name. All you got to do is just trust in his voice. Lean on your faith. Don't lean on your own understanding in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Be encouraged. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.